Why is it that fewer women than men start their own businesses? Men are twice as likely as women to be entrepreneurs, according to research out today from Aston University in the English Midlands. The situation is getting better. The growth in the number of women starting businesses in the UK, 45% during the past year. We can speak to Karen Bonner, Senior Research Fellow at Aston Business School in the English Midlands. Karen, thanks for being with us. I'm going to ask you straight away a sort of international question. Are there other places in the world where women get a better opportunity, get more help to start their own businesses? Yes, certainly. Um, what we find uh, from our research is that, um, for example, in the US, female entrepreneurship rates are relatively high compared to female rates in the UK. For example, they're around double. And I think that's a uh, part of that is to do with the culture of entrepreneurship in the US and indeed in Canada. Um, it's very much more in the mindset to start up a business and the kind of legislation and the culture is very accepting of that. Um, um, there's also more uh, um, of an acceptance that failure is part of the whole entrepreneurial process than perhaps we would have in the UK, where females here often cite that the fear of failure would prevent them from starting a business. Um, a more worldwide um, around uh, other countries in say Asia and indeed in Latin America you have also very high rates of female entrepreneurship but it's a slightly different picture there in that um, quite often there the entrepreneurship is driven by necessity reasons so for example females um, don't often have the same access to education and so the same access to jobs and so they're almost driven into setting up a business to derive a source of income um, so, sure. so that's that's not untarnished good news, is it? As as you say, they they have to do it in order to cope. And these are very small enterprises, not not starting a business that grows into a factory. Exactly. Yes. Um, particularly in those um, regions and countries where it is driven out of necessity. Yes, it would be very much um, solo, self-employed females. Um, they wouldn't really have the scope or the intention to grow those businesses. Whereas in the UK, we find, although we do also have solo, self-employed females, we actually have um, a good proportion of females setting up businesses to employ other people and actually very, very ambitious to grow those businesses um, and indeed equally as likely as males to want to grow those businesses into something bigger. And yet you said the enterprise culture is less emphatic, less assured in the UK, which is a bit of a shock. You'd like to think, wouldn't you, that Britain's a modern country and women would feel as able as men to pursue an idea and to turn it into a profitable business so what what's what's happened then to the culture yeah i think it's um sort of there's a mixture of reasons there a part of it is sort of going back that um in the culture entrepreneurship was very much seen as a male activity and um, perhaps females didn't sort of it didn't cross their mind as something that they were able to do i think that has improved i think there's been a lot of schemes and initiatives both public and private sector to try and improve that um, particularly um, female entrepreneurs acting as mentors and role models for other females to give them the confidence and the skills to start up a business for example in um, the survey females are in the UK are, um, are much more likely than males to say that this fear of failure would prevent them from starting a business and also lower proportions of females uh -huh. say that they have the confidence and the skills to start a business. So I think there's part of, you know, the, the culture there and maybe, you know, females weren't always taken seriously and wanting to start a business. I think that's changing a lot now. Thank you very much indeed. That's Karen Bonner from Aston Business School.